them. To tell this story, we gotta go back to the 1990s. Scientists were digging up fossils in Argentina, found something incredible. In Patagonia, a fossil was dragged out of the ground, just one vertebra but taller than a grown man. Then more bones came out. They belonged to the largest dinosaur that ever walked the earth. This thing was 35 meters long, same length as a Diplodocus, but the weight seven times heavier than a Diplodocus. It lived in South America 95 million years ago. That was a completely different world, a world just starting to reveal itself to us throughout the late 90s. Amazing dinosaurs were discovered in Argentina, at a nesting site dinosaur eggs everywhere. So many the scientists couldn't avoid stepping on them. Some eggs even had complete dinosaur embryos inside. By 1999 in the same place they found a complete adult dinosaur, skeleton. Cut back to that baby dino right when the pterosaur is about to strike that massive dinosaur runs over the pterosaur knows it can't win, has to give up its meal and flies away. The baby looks at this giant figure thinking it's its mom and gets eaten immediately. This dinosaur is called a Scorpio Venator. It's not the mom of these eggs came here to hunt too. It's eating them one by one. Countless hatchlings get devoured. The bones found at the site prove this nest was constantly raided by predators coming specifically to hunt freshly hatched babies. This nursery ground was famous for miles come here and you're guaranteed a feast. These baby's mother is called Argentinosaurus. All these eggs are hers. They're giant herbivores several times bigger than the Scorpio Venator. Seeing the baby's mom coming back, the Scorpio Venator bolts or it's dead meat. Based on the bones found Argentinosaurus was 35 meters long weighed up to 75 tons, but newborns weighed only 5. By studying embryo and adult bones, we found their growth rate was insane. In 40 years they went from 5 kilos to a staggering 75,000 kilos. During peak growth they could gain 40 kilograms a day. Well-preserved embryos showed us the teeth they grew were built for non-stop eating, but to grow into giants it wasn't just about turning tons of food into muscle, their success and survival came from millions of years of evolution. There's one way to boost survival chances have tons and tons of offspring. The best way is laying eggs lots and lots of eggs. For killers like Scorpio Venator the nesting ground was a buffet. But there were thousands of hatchlings predator attacks barely affected the Argentinosaurus population, and they posed zero threat to adult Argentinosaurus. But we discovered wherever giant herbivores exist, a monster-sized killer is always lurking nearby.